Hello my siblings, I wish you all a wonderful and happy day with your families. Today I'm continuing the series about the boss's weapons, hoping it will be beneficial for you all in some way. In the first episode of season 2, I will introduce you to the weapon set of this boss. You will encounter it on this map. It's best to combine it with projection to farm efficiently. Alright, now let's start by going through each weapon one by one. Firstly, let's discuss Fatebound, the exclusive feature of this weapon set, Spirit of V4RK01. Its function is to inflict dark damage to afflict enemies with radiation, which is a new ailment in Season 2. Additionally, it reduces the speed of enemies, but in return, it increases ice damage and dark damage for you. And it stacks up to 48 times, as you can see. Starting with just a few ice and dark damage at first, but after a while, it can ramp up to several thousand ice damage. Now, let's talk about the first weapon, V4RK01 Grapnels. Normally, it targets a single enemy when attacking, but this weapon can inflict dark damage. This ailment is very beneficial because it reduces the enemy's resistance, meaning it will increase your damage output. When it's fully charged, it jumps up and slams down, creating a massive earthquake that launches all enemies into the air. Because of this, they won't be able to attack you or use skills. I highly appreciate this capability of the weapon. Next up is the V4RK01 VTF, which is a rifle that shoots radiation bullets but doesn't inflict radiation on enemies. Normally, it only fires pink bullets, which also deal dark damage, similar to the previous weapon. When fully charged, it creates a targeting area and fires a radiation bomb down, similar to the boss causing a nuclear explosion, making us all irradiated. Its drawback is that it charges a bit slowly, but it deals significant damage. The next weapon is the V4RK01 Cypher. This is a sword and shield type of weapon, similar to other sword and shield combinations. When attacking normally, it swings with a narrow range, hitting only about 3 targets, and it also inflicts dark damage like other V4RK01 weapons, when fully charged, it charges towards the target and creates a fairly large radiation zone, causing anyone who steps on it to bleed. Finally, there's the V4RK01 Synapse. This is a magical staff. When attacking normally, it shoots a dark damage sphere, but I noticed its damage is slightly lower compared to the previous three weapons. However, it compensates with a faster firing rate. When fully charged, it shoots a sphere towards the enemy, creating a radiation area where enemies lose health and slowly die, I think the best build for these four weapons includes attributes like Blowout, Multi-Shot, Doombringer, Concentration. You've completed the review of these four weapons. If you enjoyed this series, please give it a like, share, and comment. I'll continue to make videos based on your requests. Have a wonderful day, thank you, and bye bye.